Welcome back to On The Rise as we've witnessed one of the biggest transfers in Canadian football history and Canadian men's football history as Derek Cornelius has left Malmo in Sweden after becoming a Swedish champion and he is left to join Ligue 1 Giants in Olympic Marseille and this is an incredible transfer and for me one of the most exciting transfers in Canadian football history as we finally have a center back playing in a top five league and for a massive club a club with rich footballing history a Champions League winning club in Olympic Marseille and he is joining one of the most exciting projects in world football under former Brighton manager in Roberto De Zerbi and this could be a huge move as he will be joining a side contending for Liga against Paris Saint-Germain and some people are already tipping them to even win the league. I think that's a long shot, but it's a very exciting league now. The way Marseille are changing their squad, the way Roberto De Zerbi, of course, plays football. But Derek Cornelius has officially joined Olympic Marseille. This is not medical set to be completed. This is not final details set to be ironed out. This deal is done. It's over. And it's official. As DC has held up the jersey with Marseille, they have posted it. They've officially announced Derek Cornelius joining Olympic Marseille and joining a fellow Canadian in Ismail Kone as they are teaming up at Olympic Marseille under Roberto De Zerbi under the most exciting project right now in the world of football and I don't know how to express how excited I am for this move as I'm going to be buying an away and home kit for DC and Ismail Kone. Before we jump into my true reaction on looking into the details and how long this contract will be and where he'll fit in, Make sure to drop down below in the comments. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this move. What do you guys think about DC joining Morrison, teaming up with Kone? Hit that sub button. We're so close to 400 subscribers. And make sure to hit that like button. And we're going to jump straight into things. As Derek Cornelius has been announced as an Olympic Marseille player, joining up with fellow Kahneman T player in Ismail Kone, where he joins on a four-year deal. It's been announced by Fabrizio Romano and announced by Olympic Marseille. As he joins on a four-year deal, which also sees Marseille sending 4.3 million euros plus including add-ons. That will be going to Malmo, his former club, where he was incredible. He was really a stonewall in that side's championship winning season last year as he was absolutely brilliant in the heart of that back three. But Derek Cornelius joins the side on a four-year deal worth 4.3 million euros plus add-ons. And he joins two other center backs who are joining from the likes of fellow Liga sides. In Lillian Blasier, who joins from the likes of Stade Brassois, and also another center back that has come in for Roberto De Zerbi since he has signed, Mbamo Metete. And these are both exciting signings, both from Roberto De Zerbi bringing in Derek Cornelius, Mbamo Metete, Lillian Brasier, and now this is a congested center back group as he has completely revitalized this squad. One thing that everyone's so excited around this Marseille squad is the way Roberto De Zerbi plays his football and the way he takes command of the squad and builds this squad to his liking and the way he thinks fits his style of play. Yes, you could say that with a lot of managers, but a lot of managers don't get the complete control of being able to choose their signings, be able to have such an influence on the players that come in and the players that leave. And De Zerbi has completely changed his squad. Whether it's his coaches helping him pick out two players that are going to fit his style of play or himself, this squad has been revamped and rechanged. And that is why so many pundits, analytics, everyone, supporters are predicting Marseille is going to be up there, one or two, fighting with Paris Saint Germain to win Ligue 1. Because this squad is truly incredible. And Derek Cornelius joins a very exciting group. And I am over the moon to finally see, guys, a top five league and a huge club in the world of football yet a canadian center back and this is really important for canadian football seeing a canadian center back branch into a top five league is incredible because Derek cornelius has really started a chain reaction here for canadian football because we really don't have many canadian center backs at least in my lifetime, who have ever played in a top five league. He is the first in my lifetime. And it's very exciting because it's only going to start a chain reaction because Moise Bombito is surely moving to whether it's Olympic, uh, whether it's Lyon next, or there's so many options. And now once Derek Cornelius moves into a top five league, they start taking notice of Canadians now, especially after the Copa America performance. 
Canadian center backs, we're slowly going to see them hopefully move into Scandinavia, move into Europe, bridge that gap, which is only going to help more scouts watch them and bridge that gap to try and get more Canadians into top five leagues or top five nations playing in world football. It's just a very exciting to see Derek Cornelius move to Marseille, joining Ismail Kone. It's going to help Canadian soccer as a whole and not just himself because this is a great move that is really going to inspire a lot of Canadians, especially younger centre-backs, because younger centre-backs in this country really didn't have much players to look up to. Because did we ever have a player playing for a big club? No, really never. As a defender, you had Alfonso Davies. As a midfielder, you had Stefan Estacchio and Atiba Hutchinson. As a forward, you had Jonathan David. You had many other players. But you never had a true centre-back. And now we have Derek Cornelius for younger generations, for younger players to look up to. And he's a great role model, especially in the modern game. Because he's going to fit Roberto De Zerbi's style of play to a T. De Zerbi plays a style of football which is truly based around the center back and really important around his center backs. Because he really needs a center back who is cool, composed, calm on the ball, able to read the game, pick out interceptions, but also play with the ball at his feet, which is incredibly important under Roberto De Zerbi, who loves to play with a ball-playing center back at both those roles. We saw it at Brighton with Alvin, whether it was Jan Paul Van Hecke, the Dutchman, whether it was Lewis Dunk, who was really one of the key cogs to his Brighton with Alvin side. Lewis Dunk was an incredible footballer, and a great defender, but in immense with his ball with his ball skills. Incredible at being able to pick out a pass, to be able to find a six, to be able to find his winger, to be able to find a fullback, take and receive the ball from his six or from his goalkeeper. And that is as well replicated with Derek Cornelius. I'm not saying Derek Cornelius is going to be as important as Lewis Dunk for Roberto De Zerbi, but I think he's going to be a very crucial player as time goes on for RDZ. Because right now, De Zerbi has brought in three center backs, like I said, two of them very young. Both from Liga, Brasier and Mamo Matete, uh, Mamo Matete. I personally probably butchered those names, guys. I'm not French, but they're very exciting center backs. Both from Liga. And Roberto De Zerbi, like I said, loves those ball playing center backs. He loves quick center backs. And already he has two younger influences, that, or older influences, my partner in that squad, in Samuel Gagol and in Chatzel and Bemba. Bemba, of course, the captain. He's represented the squad for some time. But these are older center backs, not predominantly known for their ball playing skills, for their pace down the channels. So it'll be very exciting to see what he does do. Because you look all around the squad, and he has completely changed it. He's revolutionized it. He's revitalized it. And he's ripped up anything Marseille had before. And he has made it his own. Whether it's been sales, whether it's been players coming in, Deserbi has changed his squad. Which is why so many pl- people, supporters, pundits, you name it, are predicting them to challenge. And the fact he's making so many changes is huge for Derek Cornelius. Because it just points a direction towards Derek Cornelius being given a chance, having a possibility route into this first team. And I really believe he has a shot to play for Marseille. Because you gotta look at it. There's so many different competitions, whether it's Coupe de France, whether it's European football as well, whether it's the likes of Liga, there's a lot of football to be played here for any top five league, and especially for Marseille. A club with rich history, a lot of expectations, unbelievable supporters, and a very exciting manager in De Zerbi, who a lot of people think was incredible in the Premier League, but since Christmas, he was very poor. You can argue injuries, but he still had a decent squad. They didn't play great football, defensively very poor. De Zerbi was wanted at one point by higher Premier League clubs, and that completely changed at the end of the season when he had such a poor back half of the year. And De Zerbi now has a lot to go out there and prove. That's why he's taken a hold of this squad. That's why he's changed it so much. And it's very exciting to see two Canadians a part of the squad, especially one that he picked out to be key in his Melcone. And I find it very interesting to see how that was a key signing that was highly recommended. And a lot of people talked about that being a key signing. And you saw that in the first preseason game where he scored a fantastic goal. But Derek Cornelius, for me, I think he slots in greatly. I think he's going to be for third or fourth center back in this depth chart in this lineup, probably behind the Argentinian in Leandro Balerdi who's a very exciting prospect, who's a very exciting center back, who's only 25 years of age. But when you look at the center backs, they've also brought in Brasia, who's 24, Tete is 22, Cornelius, who's 26, turning 27 very soon. It's a younger group all around, unless you look at Samuel Gagol and Chancel Mbemba, 29, 20, and 30. 
And this is a revitalized squad. I'll say that again and again and again. It's a very exciting. It's a very revo- rev- rev- revolutionized squad under the manager and Roberto De Zerbi, who has a lot to prove, who is going out there to win the Liga. You can see his aspirations with how many changes he's made. And I think they have a legitimate chance. And Derek Cornelius has a legitimate chance of earning solid minutes. I think he'll be a rotational player with a great chance to break into this first team. But even a rotational player for Olympique Marseille is incredible. And we can't knock that down. Yes, you can argue, well, he needs to be playing first minutes. He needs to be playing constantly. He needs to be in the 11. Yes, he needs to be in 11. But when you're playing with high-class top footballers, challenging for a league, playing in training, playing rotationally, playing in cup, playing in Europe, playing in Ligo every once in a while, earning minutes, even just playing solidly against these guys in training, you take a lot of that, a lot more to playing for a top, top side under top, top coaches under an unbelievable manager than you would for a mid-table to relegation side. It's facts. It's incredible. It'll do wonders for his game and wonders for the national team. And this is a great move for Derek Cornelius. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. Make sure to hit that sub button. We're so close to 400 subscribers, guys. It means the absolute world to me and my channel. It's the reason I make this content for you guys, for Canada's soccer community. And it means the absolute world to be able to continue to give the best content for you guys and do my best. Hit that like button, drop a sub, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.